Welcome to the Chicago Bears Rebuild. We are on a five-year deal. We have a five-year contract to turn the Chicago Bears into a championship, to turn this team into a contender, to make this team relevant once again. So I'm going to be the owner of the team or maybe just an advisor to the owner to help this team get back to glory. All right, how this is going to work. First episode, the episode you're watching right now, we're going to simulate the first season, we're going to do the off season, and then the episode number two, we're going to have the draft. And we're going to do that format for the next five seasons of Chicago Bear football. That's right, baby. Chicago Bear football, here to stay. Five years, turn this team into a prize organization. Now, let me know what team you want me to do next. Maybe we'll do that. Let me know what you want me to focus on for this draft, for this upcoming draft. But hold your comments till the end so you guys can see what type of moves I've made. Now, so far, we are 2-5. and five. We are at week number 9, and we are 2-5. and five. John Fox, you are asking to get fired. But first things first, we have to sign Alshon Jeffrey. Now, I was kind of upset that he came to me when we're 2-5. and five, But you know what? We were going to plan on re-signing him anyway. He's 96 overall. Flat-out beast, man. And he wants $84.6 million, and he about to get every red cent of that. Now, we finished the season off, and we are the worst team in the NFC, sitting at 4-12. and 12. So, you know I wanted to see if we were the worst team in the whole league. And as we scroll down, I realize that we are not the worst team in the league, but we are the third worst team in the league. So, we will be, we will be drafting third in this upcoming draft. But first things first, are we going to re-sign John Fox and keep him and not fire him? Yes, we want to keep him and not fire him. One thing we do have to do is get some personnel to actually fit his scheme. He runs a 3-4 scheme. So I have to get players that run a 3-4. Now for the playoffs. The Titans, they move on. The Panthers, they move on. The Bengals, they move on. And of, and of course, the freaking freaking Seattle Seahawks. They move, not the Seattle Seahawks, but the Arizona Cardinals. They move on as well. Seattle, they beat Arizona. Patriots, they beat the Bengals. The Titans, they beat the Broncos. And the Panthers beat the Packers. What is going on? The Seattle Seahawks beat the Panthers. And the Tennessee Titans, they beat the Patriots. Well, I can't worry too much about that because I have a job to do. I have to scout the best players out there. Now, quarterback position, that's a big position that we have to fill because Jake Culler play like trash. Not only was he in and out of the lineup because of injury, he also played very inconsistent when he wasn't there. I should have showed you guys the stats. I apologize. I'm new at this. Sue me. Whatever. Anyways, man, I looked at quarterbacks, and the quarterback position is pretty weak. We have one quarterback that's a first-rounder. All the rest are like seven-rounders. What is going on in the world today where quarterbacks are seventh-round draft picks, you know, at the top five positions or the top five quarterbacks in the draft? That's crazy to me. So I also want to build a good nucleus. Again, we we run a 3-4, but for the longest time, the Bears ran a 4-3. So we got to find people to fit that personnel. Also got to find a quarterback in free agency because most of these quarterbacks suck in the draft. And as you can see, the Tennessee Titans are Super Bowl champions. I repeat, the Tennessee Titans are Super Bowl champions. So nice, I had to say it twice. They beat Seattle 33-27. to Can you believe it? I can't, man. Matt Forte, welcome to the offseason, brother. I love you. You were one of the best running backs in Chicago Bears history, man. You're behind Gale Stairs and behind Walter Payton, and it really was nobody else. So let me just throw you in there at number three. But anyways, man, two years, $2.5 million a year, $1 million bonus. Will you take it? He wants a $21.1 million contract over the next four years. That's not happening, Matt Forte. And another thing that's not happening is him re-signing with us. He declined. And I'm going to decline all these other people. I don't want to talk to you guys. We have bigger problems to deal with. Now, we are looking at Namdi Os... Not Namdi Osmo. What am I talking about? We're looking at Haloti Nada. We're also looking at Kirk Cousins. We are looking at Russell Okun. We are also looking at um, Phil Taylor, uh, Tremaine Brock, uh, Tyvon Branch, and, and, and uh, Antonio Camardi. And, of course, all done, well done, Smith. I want me all done, Smith. I know that he is a problem off the field, but on the field, he is a great player. And there's no suspensions in Madden, so come on to the team. So, Branch, we get him. Nice deal. We picked him up. Tremaine Brock got him as well. McCullen, we also picked him up. I believe he was a bear before. Welcome back to the team. Hello, the United Declines. Sorry for you. Plampton, he declines as well. Sorry for you. Antonio Camardi, welcome to the team. You got a bunch of kids. Bring them on too. Brinkley, he is he, he declined the offer. It was a bad deal. I didn't really want him, but if he came, that's great. Alden Smith 
is a is a freaking Chicago Bear, baby. Let's go. Kirk Cousins, he signed as well. For Taylor, he is on the team as well. And Russell Okun is on the team as well. Let's do this, man. So now that you guys see the free agents that we were able to get and not able to get, let me know what position you think we should focus on. We have 78 overall and a 74 overall halfback. Do we focus there? Do we look to beef up our tight end position? Do we look up to beef up our offensive line and defense line? Cornerback to me is still an issue because Antonio Camardi is on a one-year deal. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know who I should pick up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, and I will see y'all next time. Peace. Hassan.